given the slide of the naira's of today, it would seem uh, that the suspension of forex supplies to the BGC by the CBM is not really, you know, yielding the desired results. Also, what is the cause? of forest crisis in Nigeria. In this episode, we will be showing you countries and how they manage, you know, their money, their currencies, and perhaps even the crisis that come with them. How should the CBN relate with the BTCs? And how important are the BTCs to forex management in Nigeria? Now, all this and more for you after this time out. I am Chris Paul Otaibi, your forex anchor. This it's Forex Matters. You're welcome. You're welcome back. So much is happening in the financial sector. Let's have a look. The NARA gained significantly at the official market against the dollar on Wednesday 20th October 2021 which saw the exchange rate between the Naira and the United States dollar close at 414 Naira per dollar at the investors and exporters window, where Forex is traded officially. Naira appreciated further against the US dollar last Wednesday to close at 414 Naira per dollar, representing a 0.16% fall compared to a 414 Naira per dollar recorded on Monday, 18th October 2021. Compared to 572 Naira per dollar recorded as of the close of trade on Tuesday 19th October 2021, the Naira depreciated marginally by 0.17% to 573 Naira per dollar on Wednesday 20th October 2021. This is according to information obtained by Naira metrics from BDC operators in Lagos. However, Nigeria's foreign reserve recorded a further boost of $566.45 million on Monday, 18th October 2021, to close at $40.39 billion compared to a $39.82 billion recorded as of the previous week. The reserve position has now surpassed the $40 billion mark, largely driven by the fund raised by the federal government to the euro bond and the recent positive rally at the global crude oil market. While trading at the official NAFIX window, representing a 0.16% gain compared to 414 Naira per dollar recorded on Monday 18th October 2021, the exchange rate appreciated against the United States dollar on Wednesday 20th October 2021 to close the day at 414 Naira to a dollar. This represents consecutive gains for three trading days in the official forex market. Compared to 414 Naira 46 copper per dollar recorded in the previous trading day, the opening rate closed at 414 Naira 18 copper per dollar on Wednesday, representing a 28 copper appreciation. This also represents a positive movement in three consecutive trading days. An exchange rate of 442 Naira per dollar was the highest rate recorded during an intraday trading before it settled at 414 Naira 7 copper per dollar, while it sold for as low as 405 Naira per dollar during intraday trading. Meanwhile, Forex turnover at the official window gained by 94.8% Wednesday, 20th October 2021. Foreign exchange hard currencies dollar, pound sterling, euro. Dutch Max, French France, and so on. It is all about Forex. It is the denominator that lubricates the economy as well as your life. International trade is run by it. Our national economy is dependent on it. As a manufacturer, it is what you need to bring your materials from overseas. And as a parent, it is what you need to send your children to school abroad. And for critical medical treatment, Forex is what you need to get that hospital outside Nigeria. So, you need to know how it's faring in the market, how and where you can get it through the banks and the BDCs. Forex Matters will bring to you information on developments in the Forex market and how the community is responding, just to make it good for you. Forex Matters, your monitor on Forex developments. This is Forex 
matters. And we want to know on this episode, what are those factors that lead to crisis in Forex in any country? But before we delve into that, here's a reporter set to tone. Money makes the world go around. The strength of a country, its prosperity and flourishing, is best measured by the standing of its currency. The American business magnate and politician Ross Peart observed that a weak currency is the sign of a weak economy, and a weak economy leads to a weak nation. Money is a public good, defined as that class of commodities or services that freely benefits all members of society. Money fulfills three economic functions, a unit of account, a store of value, and a vehicle for facilitating transactions. It is also a national symbol, an embodiment of a country's honor and prestige. The Central Bank of Nigeria was established on July 1st, 1959, at the eve of departure of the colonialists. The Nigerian pound was created to replace the old West African shilling. During 1968, at the peak of the Civil War, some modifications were made to secure the currency from threat of debasement. During the post-war era, Nigeria decided to replace the British imperial system of weights and measures with the continental metric system. In January 1973, the Naira replaced the Nigerian pound at the rate of 1 Naira to 10 United Kingdom shillings. The Bank of England ceased to be a guarantor of our legal tender. Britain itself was shutting off its Commonwealth trade preference system as it compared to join the European Common Market. That successful transition was managed by Finance Minister Chief Obafemi Awolowo, who also coined the term Naira. The 10 Naira note had been the highest denomination at the time. In 1977, the 20 Naira note was introduced, bearing the face of the assassinated General Mutala Ramat Muhammad. There have been subsequent currency changes over the years, culminating in the 1000 Naira note as our highest note today. Ever since the Bretton Woods settlement of 1944, the dollar has been the world's reserve currency. The dollar exchange at a fixed parity with gold at the rate of $35 to one ounce of gold until 1971, when due to balance of payments constraints, President Nixon unilaterally revoked the gold to dollar exchange system. Ever since, the international monetary order has been governed by a system of floating currencies. In 1973, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger reached an agreement with the House of Saud, whereby in exchange for American military protection, the dollar would have sole monopoly as the currency for international oil trading. For better or worse, the dollar would remain the key anchor and benchmark for the Naira. In 1960, the Nigerian pound exchanged at 71 cents. After the introduction of Naira in 1973, Nigeria's new currency exchanged at 1 Naira to 62 cents. The Babangida military dictatorship marked a turning point. Naira suffered a massive devaluation, exchanging at $1.75 to the Naira in 1986. The neoliberal structural adjustment policies that the regime pursued under the tutelage of the IMF or WB saw the Naira fall to 22 Naira to the dollar by 1994. At the wake of the Fourth Republic in 1999, the Naira was exchanging at 92 Naira 34 Kaba to a dollar, for the falling to 132 Naira 89 Kaba in 2004. In May 2015, the Naira exchanged at 198 Naira 91 Kaba to a dollar. And by 2018, it fell further to 306 Naira to a dollar. By May 2019, the Naira exchanged at 360 Naira to a dollar. With the announcement by the Central Bank of Nigeria of its withdrawal of forex allocations to BDCs, in preference for the commercial banks, the Naira plummeted to 520 Naira per dollar 
in the parallel market. Nigeria is a monocultural import-dependent economy. Whilst oil no longer accounts for the bulk of budget revenues, it still accounts for more than 90% of our foreign earnings. When oil prices tumble, the Nara goes into a tailspin, sending inflationary pressures throughout the economy. The value of a national currency is shaped by several following factors. First, inflation. Over the past decade, high inflation has been a persistent phenomenon in Nigeria's economy. In 2021, headline inflation stands at nearly 18%. The American economist Maury Rothbard once noted that inflation not only raises prices and destroys the value of the currency unit, it also acts as a giant system of expropriation. Inflation is not only a tax on the poor, it discourages savings and investments, while ultimately undermining welfare and growth prospects. It also renders the currency weak against those of competitors. Second, the current account balance, the total number of international trade transactions, imports, exports and debt, is crucial. A positive account bolsters the exchange rate, while a negative one weakens it. At the end of 2021, the ratio of the country's current account balance to GDP is projected to be minus 2.70%. When a country has to spend its dwindling foreign exchange in settling payments for its imports, it could lead to currency depreciation. Thirdly, debt. Nigeria's current debt stands at a staggering 33 trillion naira, which is $87 billion, amounting to 35% of the gross domestic product. This year alone, Nigeria is projected to spend more than 90% of government revenues on debt servicing. High debts will further weaken the Naira. Fourth, the terms of trade. This refers to the ratio of export prices to import prices. If the prices of our exports are rising faster than those of our imports, it enhances the value of Naira. Unfortunately for Nigeria, the reverse is the case. Global oil prices have been heading south, while prices of advanced country industrial manufacturers have been heading north. Fifth, economic recession. Nigeria has seen two major recessions in the last five years. The 2015 to 2017 recession was triggered by the fall in global oil prices, while that of 2019 to 2020 was attributable to the novel coronavirus crisis. Recession undermines public finances while dampening overall business confidence and further crippling the Naira. Sixth, currency speculation. Due to geopolitical uncertainty, capital is taking flight to zones of safety. Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, recently announced that he is shifting 60% of his investments to Niu. Nigerians are offloading Naira and storing their assets in dollars the Naira is bound to fall the weekend as a consequence. Seventh, dollarization. Dollarization is when the dollar practically replaces the home legal tender as a store of value and medium of transactions. The Central Bank of Nigeria has issued directives against invoicing in dollars, but they are only obeyed in the breach. The late Dr. Badaya Milafri of blessed memory, you know, was a former deputy governor of Central Bank. And in 2019, in the 2019 election, he was one of the presidential aspirants. He knows the management of currencies in and out because he was there. One of his major worries at the time was the dollarization of the Naira. Dollarization is when a foreign currency 
competes with the domestic currency. In terms of usage, as uh, a store of value, a unit of account, uh, or even a vehicle for business transactions. To illustrate how citizens and government should treat their own currencies, he narrates his experience in South Africa with that country's rand. If you go to South Africa, like I did not too long ago, uh, and I was in Pretoria and I forgot to get a tie. We were going to a meeting at the Reserve Bank of South Africa. And I needed a tie, so I went into a fashion store and I got some nice ties. Uh, then I gave them dollars and they freaked out immediately. They said, oh, no, 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 no. We shall all go to jail if we ever accept you. No, 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 it's forbidden here in South Africa. No, 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 no. But sir, there is a bank even within this uh, premises, with the outside, within the, the, it was a kind of business mall. Uh, there is a, they directed me to a commercial bank where, you know, they will attend to me. So I went to a commercial bank. They demanded my uh, uh, um, passport, uh, asked a few questions. Then they exchanged it, gave me a receipt. Then I used the money to go and pay for the goods. This is how it works in South Africa. They jealously guard the value of the rand. They take pride in their rand and they do not allow any currency to compete with the rand. The South African attitude has given respect and prestige to the rand globally. The rand today is a semi-convertible international currency. You, in London, in Frankfurt, in Paris, you can actually purchase rand. Uh, it is one of the strong, stronger trading currencies. It is not a fully convertible currency, but you know, it is nonetheless a strong currency. Unfortunately, it's a different story entirely in Nigeria, according to the former deputy governor of the CBN. Now. What happens in Nigeria? It has become a dollarized economy. The CBN had directives that businesses other than oil companies must, other than the international oil companies, must invoice their, cl their clients strictly in Naira. That is the law. Unfortunately, Land laws in Hybro districts in Lagos, in Port Harcourt, in Abuja, they always invoice their tenants in dollars. And Hybro schools, so called international schools, many of them invoice their school fees to parents in dollars, which is completely illegal. Even the Nigerian political elites are not exonerated from this debasement of the Naira. Now, the political elites, a lot of them deal only in dollars. When they talk money, big money, they are talking in dollars. So even if your leaders don't believe in your Naira, why should foreigners or anybody else believe in your Naira? So with this dollarized economy, what is simply happening is that a foreign currency is competing with your domestic currency. And obviously it is the law of nature that the stronger will eventually defeat the weaker. So this is really what we have done to our own Naira. Foreign exchange had currencies, dollar, Pound sterling, euro, Dutch max, French francs, and so on. It is all about forex. It is the denominator that lubricates the economy as well as your life. International trade is run by it. Our national economy is dependent on it. As a manufacturer, it is what you need to bring your materials from overseas. 
And as a parent, it is what you need to send your children to school abroad. And for critical medical treatment, Forex is what you need to get that hospital outside Nigeria. So, you need to know how it's faring in the market, how and where you can get it through the banks and the BDCs. Forex Matters will bring to you information on developments in the Forex market and how the community is responding, just to make it good for you. Forex Matters, your monitor on Forex developments. Have you ever shop with Tom? It's, over eight, it's almost 80 years today. But it's when all is working like, I mean the whole of it, working for the CBN. And he retired as a deputy director of that Apex Bank. For him, the Naira can only be as strong at the level of productivity in the economy. The value of your currency is determined by your productivity. Right now, we've been talking about the, the diversifying the economy and all that. At but we've only been talking about it. We have never done anything about it. So we are now at the lowest F that the only thing we seem to be uh, exporting now is crude. And even that crude is denominated in dollars. So we, this country used to be an agrarian country where we had cocoa, granite, high sand skin, all that. We're earning so much. There was a time this our uh, naira was equivalent to the pound. The, the dollar was 70 kobo. Today the dollar uh, the dollar is 520 something naira. So that's the problem that the CBN has. The retired CBN director submits that the nation's dependence on foreign goods has been a huge drain on forex in the country. We used to be uh, net exporters. Now we are net consumers. And so that rather than have uh, forex, I mean, um, have currency coming into us, we are now spending more. So we need to get more. And that's why the value of the Naira is going down. Shopkeeper sure believe the CBN will achieve better working with the BDCs Association. Since these BDCs have a body, just like we have the Bankers Committee for the banks and all that. In the same way, the CBN should find a way of uh, relating with this CB, uh, BDC body to see that the infractions they complain about are taken care of. He speaks about how the BDCs can be made to operate according to lay down rules and regulations. What they need to do is to have documentation for all these uh, forex transactions. Maybe that, because with uh, the BDC, it's just you get there and they try to make things as easy as possible for you, so you now do. But if we have a way where you have documentation for everything everybody does, then the CBN can always come in and verify what has been done. Shopeza says the cost of governance is a drain also, not only on the uh, economy, but on the stability of the Naira. Government itself needs to do something about this cost of governance. But that's another issue that is really, really, really dragging this nation down. The, the bulk of the borrowing that we are indulging in is to uh breach the budget deficit and the budget essentially is for consumption 70 percent of the budget is for um what we call it uh, current expenditure so we are borrowing for consumption so we need to really do something about our cost of government but that would also help us to really stem this idea of having to borrow and not that, and that will help to really stabilize our currency. He advocates for further deepening of the relationship between APCON and the CBN. So since they have a body with whom they relate, that way they should be able to get them involved in all this, and then they should be able to uh, examine what they are doing, 
But that, because that's the fear of the CBN, that they can't, uh, ma you know, monitor what these people are doing. So if they can have a way of uh, interacting with the official body of these people, it will help, it will help all of us. <laughs>